to Tennessee's At Home Learning series for math. Today's lesson is for all our second graders out there, though all children are welcome to tune in. This lesson is the 14th in our series. My name is Miss Spain, and I'm a second grade teacher in Tennessee schools. I'm so excited to be your teacher for this lesson. Welcome to my virtual classroom. If you didn't see our previous lesson, you can find it on the Tennessee Department of Education's website at www.tn.gov education. You can still tune in to today's lesson, even if you haven't seen any of our others, but it might be more fun if you go back and watch our other lessons since we'll be talking about things we've learned previously. Today, we will be learning about using a number line to add measurements of length. Before we get started, to participate fully in our lesson, you will need paper and pencil and a surface to write on. Okay, let's begin. Do you remember in our last lesson, our plant that was 15 inches tall and then it grew and was 22 inches tall? I knew you would. How did we solve the problem? That's right. We modeled and solved that problem by counting on a yardstick. Let's try another one of those problems. Read this one with me. Tanya's little brother, Bobby, has a pet snake. When he brought the snake home from the pet store, it was 22 inches long. After three weeks, the snake had grown six more inches. How long is Bobby's pet snake now? So let's go back to the text. So Tanya's little brother has a pet snake. When he brought the snake home from the pet store, it was 22 inches long. After three weeks, the snake had grown six more inches. How long is Bobby's pet snake now? That's what we're trying to figure out. How long is Bobby's pet snake now? What I want you to do is go ahead and grab your pencil and draw this model with me. We're going to go ahead and draw a long rectangle first, like I have the one below. Then we're going to place seven hash marks across the top as evenly as we can. But don't spend a lot of time trying to get them perfect. Remember, this is just a way to help us organize our thinking. So I'm going to start at 22. 23. 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, now let's graph it. Because we're beginning with our model, we know that the snake was 22 inches long. So I'm going to start at 22 inches. Let's move five spaces at once. Remember, we know how to count by fives. So if we do five spaces at once, that will get us to 27. It's easier to count by twos, fives, and tens than to do each one separately. Now, do we need to stop at 27? I don't think so. What did it say? Very good, you went back to the text. The snake had grown six more inches and we've done five. So we need to do one more and land on 28. So now we have graphed six. So please go ahead and write the equation for this model along with me. I am going to write 22 plus six equals, remember I started at 22, we have six and where did we land? Excellent boys and girls, we landed on 28. The snake grew six inches, so now it is 28 inches long. You did so well reviewing, adding measurements using a yardstick. Thank you for working so hard. Did you know the numbers and spaces that are equally placed on a ruler or yardstick are just like numbers and spaces? that are equally placed on the number line? Yes, it's true. So you can use a number line to add measurements just like you do using 
a yardstick. So I'm going to show you a model. Here is a yardstick. Now, let's remove everything from the yardstick but the whole number hash marks and the top line of the ruler like I'm going to do. So if I removed it, this is what I have now. Does it look familiar? Now, we can draw arrowheads on the top line the arrowheads remind us that we can move forward or backward when we are counting on number line. That's what I've already done here. We will extend the hash marks that represent spaces like this. We will label each of the hash marks by counting by ones. Count with me starting at zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then that would be seven. The shorter hash marks represent the spaces between the numbers. Now, let's use these models to solve our next problem. Are you ready? Here we go. Eddie planted a small flower that was four inches tall over a month, it grew two more inches. How tall in inches is Eddie's plant now? Hmm. Let's go back to the text and make sense of our problem. Eddie planted a small flower that was four inches tall. Over a month, it grew two more inches. And the question we're trying to solve is, how tall in inches is Eddie's plant now? If we use a ruler to solve this, we would first mark the four on the four inches, like I'm doing here. We would count over two to represent the two inches the flower grew. And we would land on six inches. If we use our number line to solve this, we would first graph the four for four inches, and then, how many more would we go over? Correct, we would count over two to represent the two inches the flower grew. How tall is Eddie's plant now? You are on a roll, that's right. It is six inches tall. We can write an equation that will work with either the ruler or the number line. We can say four, plus two equals six. As you can see, we started on the ruler with four, we started on the number line with four, and we went two spaces, and they both ended up on six. So using either the ruler or the number line, we still came up with six inches, because four plus two equals six. You are doing a great job. Now, I want you to listen about my friend named Amelia, and then you're gonna read the problem with me. I have a friend named Amelia. Amelia lives in the city and loves to go for walks in the morning. She likes to keep up with her walking distances by counting the number of city blocks she walks each time. Do you know what Amelia means by a city block? Right. A city block is a square or rectangular area of the city surrounded by streets, usually containing several buildings. So now let's all look at the problem. So, on Monday, Amelia walked 18 blocks and walked five blocks on Tuesday. Amelia wants to know how many blocks she walked in all. This time, we're gonna use a number line to help Amelia figure this out. Go ahead and draw a number line like I have shown here. To start, you need to draw a straight horizontal line. Notice the line looks like the top, yes, of a ruler or yardstick. Now, what was it I had to add at the end of my line? That's right, the arrowheads. These arrowheads remind me that I can move right or left on my number line. I will give you a few seconds to draw this line with the arrowheads on your paper. 
Next, we will add some numbers to our number line. I can draw eight hash marks as evenly spaced as I can on my line, but I don't want to spend a lot of time trying to get them perfect. You don't either, just do your best. Let's go ahead and draw these hash marks. Remember, we're going to be drawing eight. Now we're going to label our numbers by skip counting by fives. Let's count together. As I label my hash marks, you label yours too. So I'm going to start here with zero, and then I'm going to have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Does your number or line look like mine? Now, let's add four hash marks as evenly spaced as you can between our numbers. So we have five spaces between each number since we're going by fives. I will say one, two, three, four. And then we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Now, does your number line look like mine? Great job. Now we know Amelia walked 18 blocks on Monday. So let's draw a line over our number line to represent the 18 blocks she walked on Monday. I'm going to start here with zero, and I'm gonna come all the way to 18 and I'm going to stop there and I will draw a line. Can you do this with me? Why does the line stop between 15 and 20? That's right, it stops between 15 and 20 because that is where 18 is. 18 is three spaces past 15. So I'm going to shade those spaces in. And I know that this is 18. Now we can draw a number line that goes to the right to represent the blocks Amelia walked on Tuesday. How many blocks did she walk on Tuesday? That's right, she walked five blocks. Count with me five spaces to the right on the number line starting at 18. One, two, three, four, five. Where did you end up? Now I can count from my last line to the second line to find my total. So I went from here to here and I did five blocks. Very good. We started at 18 and went 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. Very good boys and girls. So our sum or the total blocks Amelia walked on Monday and Tuesday is Yes, you are so smart, that's right. Amelia walked a total of 23 blocks on Monday and Tuesday. Now let's write the equation for our problem. We have 18, remember up here we started with 18, and then she walked five, here are five blocks, and we landed on 23. So here's our equation. We added five because she walked five more blocks. And here are the five additional blocks. 18 plus five is 23. This shows us the total that Amelia walked. You are doing great. Now it's time for you to really shine and show all that you've learned as we practice a few more of these problems. Here we go. I want you to read this next problem with me. 
Tucker is on the high school swim team. He likes to use yards to measure how much he swims. Tucker swam 17 yards on Thursday. He swam eight yards on Friday. How many yards did he swim in all? Okay, boys and girls, let's make sense of our problem. We're trying to figure out how many yards did Tucker swim in all? So we know that he swam 17 yards on Thursday and eight more on Friday. So we're trying to figure out how many yards he swam in all. Let's start with our number line. Go ahead and draw a horizontal line on your paper. And then what do you need to make sure that you add? Very good, the arrowheads. What do these arrowheads remind me of? You are correct. They remind us I can count forward or backward on my number line. Now, we add eight hash marks and numbers to our number line. Remember, just to do your best, the hash marks do not have to be perfect. We'll start here with zero, and then I have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Does yours look like my model? Now we labeled our model by skip counting by fives and we start at zero for the first one. Zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Great job boys and girls. We want the hash marks between our numbers counted by five, so we have five spaces between each number. How many hash marks do we need to add between the numbers? Super, you're right. We add four hash marks between the numbers, so we have five spaces between each number. Let's go ahead and do that now. One, two, three, four, then we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Does your number line look like mine? Great job. So how many yards did Tucker swim on Thursday? Let's look at our problem again. Tucker swam 17 yards on Thursday. So what do we need to do with that information? That's right, that's the first line we draw over our number line. Let's do that now. We're going to draw all the way to 17 because that's how many yards he swam on Thursday. So why does the line stop between 15 and 20? Right again, it stops between 15 and 20 because that's where 17 is. 17 is how many spaces past 15? Correct, two spaces. And that's why I'm stopped here at 17 and I will shade that in. So how many yards did Tucker swim on Friday? Let's go back to the text. He swam eight yards on Friday. Tucker must be a good swimmer. Now, what do we do? Oh yeah, we're going to draw our second line above the number line to represent the eight yards he swam on Friday. Which direction will this go? Yes, it will go to the right to show we are adding. Count with me eight spaces on the number line starting at 17. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job, boys and girls. What do we need now? What do we need to do now? Yes, we need to start at 17, count over, and we just ended up at 25. This is the eight yards 
that he swam on Friday. So remind me what the answer to an addition problem is. You are so good. That's correct. The answer to an addition problem is called the sum. So, okay, we stopped at 25 because he swam eight more yards on Friday. So our sum, or the total yards Tucker has swam all together is, very good, you're so smart. That's right, our sum is 25. Tucker swam a total of 25 yards. Now let's write an equation for our problem. We started, remember, at 17, and then we added eight, and that equals 25 to help us figure out our answer. Okay, now we are going to do one more, and I'm going to let you really show what you've learned about using a number line to add links. I want you to read this problem on your own. Now, let's read it together. A football player runs six yards down the football field. Then the same player runs down the field 11 more yards. How many total yards has the football player run down the field? Hmm, <clears throat> let's go back and make sense of our problem. So a football player runs six yards down the field, okay? Then the same player runs down the field 11 more yards. And we are trying to figure out how many total yards has the football player run down the field? Okay, you know what we are going to do to solve this problem. Right, we're going to add the yards the player has run together. So let's start with the number line. Go ahead and draw your number line on your paper, a long horizontal line with arrowheads at the end. Now, like before, zero will be on the left end, and then you're going to draw your eight hash marks. So I'm going to start with zero. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Very good, boys and girls. Why did I start with five? Yes, I started with five to represent the different four spaces that we have in between. Excellent job, because it's a number line. Does your number line look like mine? Did you remember to add the arrowheads to the line? Very good. And did you also skip count by five to label your paper? Awesome. Now, what do we need to do to complete our number line? Very good. We need to add the four smaller hash marks between the skip counted numbers. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Excellent job, boys and girls. Do our number lines look the same? You are doing a great job drawing your number line. Okay, so now what do we do? Let's go back to our text. Yes, it says a football player runs six yards. So what do I need to do with the six? Very good. You said we will draw a line over the number line to represent the first set of yards run by the player. Great, let's do that now. He did six yards. Wonderful job. And I'm going to shade this in to show that we stopped at the six. Does your number line look like mine? Did you draw the line to show the six? Excellent job. Now what will you do? Right, you will draw the second line for the second set of yards run. Awesome job, let's do that now. First though, go back to the text. How many more do we need to add? 
You're correct, 11, because we went back to the text. So let's go ahead and draw for 11 more yards. So we know this is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Why did I start counting by 1s at the 6? Right, because we were adding 11 more yards. And I ended up here at 17. So this first is six yards because that's where he started. And then he ran 11 more yards. And we ended at 17. Let me see your number lines. Can you hold them up for me to see? Great job. I saw some good work there on your number line. I saw how you drew the second line over past 15 to 17. Now tell me why that is. Right, because two spaces past 15 is 17, and we needed a total of 11. You all are doing an awesome job today. This means our player ran a total of how many yards by looking at our model? Boom, you got it. Our player ran a total of 17 yards down the field. Now, will you write your equation that matches our model for me, please? Okay, did you write your equation like this? Six, because we got where we started, it was six. Then we added 11, and where did we end? 17, awesome job. Do you remember how to connect the equation to the model? Very good. You wrote six because our first player ran six yards. Then you added 11 because he ran 11 more yards. And here are the additional 11 yards. And we ended at 17. So this 17 shows us the total yards that our player ran. You all are doing a fantastic job. Now, I cannot even begin to tell you how proud I am of you. I think that you all are really catching on. You've done an awesome job working with me today. Pat yourself on the back right now. Awesome, boys and girls. Now, after the video, you will have some problems to practice on your own. You can find the student practice for this lesson posted on our website at www.tn.gov education. And this is what it will look like. And I know that you will rock these problems. Have fun and do your best. Boys and girls, I enjoyed using a number line with you today. Thank you for inviting me into your home. I look forward to seeing you in our next lesson in Tennessee's At Home Learning Series. Bye. We know this year didn't go according to plan. Life occasionally springs a pop quiz on you, but you passed the test. Your family is proud of you, and Tennessee is proud of you. This year may have been different, but you met the moment and graduated. And we at the Tennessee Department of Education want to spend the next few weeks celebrating your accomplishment. Congratulations, class of 2020.